Hi traders, thanks for stopping by the tradinganalyst.com. This is Taylor and we're going to take a look at a bunch of charts here and I'm going to give you my analysis and my thought process and you're going to walk away from this video with some newfound knowledge on technical analysis as well as hopefully some profitable trade ideas based off of this free analysis video. But first, if you're not already a member at the tradinganalyst.com, go ahead and give us a visit on the home page of the website and get to know us a little bit better. If you like these free videos and analysis that we give to you on a daily basis, it's really nothing in comparison to the membership you get once you sign up with that premium membership. Once you sign up with the premium membership, instant access to the profitable trade alerts that our current members are getting and loving on a daily and weekly basis. It's a great opportunity and we'd love to start making you some money in the market. All right, so let's take a look at the charts here we're going to start off with looking at ford uh, this is the weekly chart here on ford going all the way back to uh, early 2014 you can see that uh, we got rejected at this resistance here there again and then this started the downtrend uh, right there so you can see a rejection there there against the trend line there right here almost hit it there almost hit it here again almost there and here we are right at it right now all right another thing I want to point out too is you see this big gray bar right here all right that is the volume point of control that's the second largest volume point of control on uh, the Ford daily I'm sorry on the Ford weekly chart so we've got a lot of resistance in the way I'm going to switch to the daily time frame here if you can clearly see that volume uh, point of control right here and what does that mean that means that's where the most volume has been traded which means if we're below it uh, it's going to be a lot of resistance in the way so another thing too is we had a lot of sideways trading right here honestly that probably contributed to uh, having the most volume traded at that point so it's just a very clean level of resistance uh, right there and you can clearly see we're reacting to this level here as we have been very bullish here, very bullish. And right here, we're just kind of trading sideways right here, reacting to that level. So definitely want to pay attention to this level here for Ford. We've taken a long trip up just to get to this resistance, all right? Just to get to that resistance. And we don't have much energy left in the tank. Um, in order to push us higher. And what I mean by energy is you build up energy in a stock by trading sideways uh, and taking a break. Right here, we virtually went straight up. I mean, almost every single day was green uh, to get us up to this resistance level. So it expended a lot of energy, all right? Expended a lot of energy. So it doesn't mean we can't break over this level. It just means that um, if we're going to break over it, and have success and have a new uh, breakout on our hands on Ford, we're going to need to trade sideways for a little while, potentially even trade lower. So definitely think that you got to pay attention to this main level here on Ford. Next one we're going to take a look at is another car company who, if you look at the weekly time frame, going back all the way to 2010, all right, this is one that uh, new issued right there, had a resistance right there, right there, right here, right here, and here we are breaking over this level right here. So very, very bullish action here for uh, General Motors, and uh, I do think this is going to lead to a big breakout here. Obviously, it's already broken out, you know, $5 since breaking over that uh, resistance, but if we do see lower uh, prices anywhere, you know, below $41, $40, um, I think this is a great buying opportunity, um, and I think that this stock uh, overall is going to head much, much higher because this breakout is very, very significant. And I'm drawing this trend line here as well uh, that you can use. Uh, really nice trend line. Started here, got a bounce there, bounce there, bounce here. So very, very nice trend line uh, that we can use as a level of support, a viable level of support for General Motors. But overall, just pay attention to this big breakout over this big time resistance uh, to new all-time highs. Very, very bullish. I think the stock um, is due for 
um, an even bigger breakout than what we've seen right now. Uh, but just remember, you know, it can take some time, okay? So if, you know, General Motors heads lower uh, tomorrow, you know, don't come running to me and saying that I was wrong because this is a long-term chart right here. It's a weekly chart going back all the way to uh, the inception of this public company. So uh, look for bounces near $40 on General Motors. Next one we're going to take a look at is AAOI, and we're going to touch on the daily chart for this stock. And I want to point out a couple of things here on this stock. The main thing that I want you to be paying attention to is this huge gap down on earnings right here heavy heavy volume this is the biggest volume day i think ever on uh on this stock so biggest volume day ever was a huge <clears throat> excuse me was a huge gap down on huge volume and you can see we didn't really get a bounce since then we haven't been able to break over these highs uh just yet and i honestly don't believe that it will do that because it's really had its chance to do so. So not only did that happen, but we also broke uh, this trend line. We also broke this trend line, started here, got a bounce there. You can see it reacted to it here, but then you can see we broke below it right here. We came back up, retested it right there, and we've just kind of been puttering out right here, trading sideways. Um, I do think that more than likely, uh, this stock is gonna get um, a breakdown um, obviously, this point right now is probably not the best point to initiate short just because um, we're right here at this big time support. Um, you can see that clearly reacting there, right here, and right here, and right here recently. So um, I'd be looking for either higher prices to short near about 69, or if we get a break below, you know, let's call it about $56, um, that to me is going to be a good short opportunity. Another thing you want to point, you want to notice here that I want to point out is we've got the 50 day moving average, this red line right here, which uh, is not only uh, price below it, but we've got 50 day moving average that is on the decline. All right. 50 day moving average is heading lower. That is a bearish sign. Um, and I'm looking for a breakdown here on this stock to at least $42. Uh, right here you can clearly see it reacted to this level right here and right there uh, the next one we're going to take a look at is ACIA and ACIA um, you can see that we were in a bear channel right here for quite some time we broke out of that bear channel right here and now we have this new uptrend right here you can clearly see it started here you can clearly see uh, this stock is reacting to it there there, here, here, and then again just recently. So to me, this is setting up for a breakout. Um, what you want to look for is a clear of about $50. Once we clear $50, I'll be targeting about $57. That's the next nearest resistance. Um, and what I want to point out here is we've got some big volume here that's been starting um, on this stock. So uh, if you look if you go back, um, you've seen a lot of selling volume, a lot of selling volume. But right here, you know, we had this big volume day right here. And ever since that big volume day, we've headed higher here. So obviously, there was a lot of buyers uh, that stepped in, even though that's a red day. Uh, that ended up uh, pushing the stock higher ever since then. So that's a big volume day right there. You can see right here, here's a big volume day right here on a big gap up uh, right there on that big volume. Um, again, right here, we've got a gap up um, on big volume as well. So, and we haven't really seen any uh, selling volume days just yet. So, another thing I like is that we're above the 20 day, both the 20 day and the 50 day moving average. And the 20 day is above the uh, 50 day moving average. So, I think it's setting up um, for a breakout. Again, look for over 50 uh, for that breakout. Uh, the next one we're going to take a look at. Oops, uh, not Netflix, it is uh, NVDA. So NVDA, um, you can clearly see very bullish stock. You know, we broke out over this uh, resistance right there. 
and we just came back in to retest it right here and got a bounce ever since so it's reacting very very smoothly to these levels here and uh, another thing you want to point uh, I want to point out is that uh, we've got a nice trend line right here started there reacted to it there here 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 and again right here and again right here so very key trend line uh, if we do head lower you can look for bounces against this level uh, moving forward uh, really think that uh, NVDA is a bullish stock. Next resistance is really around 189, 190. Uh, next one we're going to take a look at is Facebook. And Facebook, a couple things I want to point out here on Facebook is um, we've got, uh, clearly this is a bullish stock overall, very bullish stock. And to me, this looks like uh, the action that we're seeing right here. To me, it looks exactly like the action that we saw right here on Facebook. And uh, the other thing too uh, that is somewhat different is that we have this false breakdown right here. So there's a big volume uh, breakdown right here and you can see it just headed higher ever since then. So to me uh, that was a false breakdown uh, broke below this support. You can clearly see it reacting to the support and breaking that support and then just breaking right back over it. So that's very bullish here um, for Facebook um, as it's coming into this resistance right now. As I make this video, we are pumping uh, over this resistance. To me, it looks like Facebook is going to get a breakout here uh, to some new all time highs. You can see that when it trades sideways for a while, you know, just like we did right here, traded sideways for a while, you can see big breakouts commence after that. So you can see that it went from about, you know, 156 all the way up to uh, 175, you know, about a $20 uh, move right there. So that's kind of what I'm expecting here for Facebook. Of course, if we get rejected, you know, uh, later in the day after making this video, I'm going to sing potentially a different tune. But as it stands right now, uh, Facebook is looking really nice um, for a breakout. Let's see if it can really sustain over, you know, 174, 175 in order to pump higher. Uh, the next one we're going to take a look at is Chipotle. And Chipotle, a couple things I want to point out here. Uh, we've got uh, a lot of sideways trading right here. Sideways trading, and you can see that it was trending down for quite some time without really taking any bit of a pause more than a couple days here at a time. Uh, but now we've got a breakdown and now we're just trading sideways. So to me, you know, this could really go either way, uh, really could go either way. But if we sustain and we close over about 321, we can see a really nice breakout um, on uh, Chipotle. And that's only if we sustain and close over 321. Right now, this is still a very bullish stock. I'm sorry, a very bearish stock. The trend is down. Uh, the only real sign that we have is that, you know, we've traded sideways and it's stopped going down. So uh, we haven't really gotten much volume, uh, buying volume that's come in. So um, that's another thing that it is lacking. So the trend is down. Uh, there's a lack of buying volume. So that's what you want to look for. Um, you want to look for a break over 321. That's the first thing. And you want to look for some buying volume. So right now, we don't really see any, you know, big uh, green volume bars right here. That's what you want to see for a breakout here on Chipotle. If you don't see that, um, and you don't see a break over 321, then you're going to see a breakdown here. Um, and it's just going to be a continued uh, trend lower. So kind of got a couple of ways you can play this. Uh, Chipotle moving forward. So thank you for stopping by and watching this video, everyone. Again, if you're not already a member at the tradinganalyst.com, visit us on the homepage and then get to know us better. Once you do that, sign up for the premium membership and you're going to get instant access to the profitable trade alerts that our current members are getting on a daily and weekly basis. It's a great opportunity and we'd love to start helping you make some winning trades in the market.